So we are back playing Spawn in the Demon's Hand on Dreamcast. So I thought let's try to choose a different character that is more based on weapons compared to uh, melee and close range combat. So I chose the Admonisher, which kind of reminds me of uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger in Commando, if you guys remember that movie. So yeah, this character is mostly all about using the weapons. He does have like a single punch attack at close range. He's got a bunch of weapons. I believe he's got like a machine gun, a rocket launcher, and also a minigun. Uh, so the minigun is the best from what I've been trying so far. It's really good. It does a lot of damage. So my teammate is Al Simmons, who also has a minigun. Uh, so we'll try this team and see how good it is together. Uh, because normally before I wanted to try two like demon characters but this time let's try some human characters just for fun and see how it turns out I'm really worried about uh, dealing with the last uh, the last three bosses mainly Dark Ages Spawn, Angel Tanaris and the Gatekeeper they might be too much for this team but we'll see how it turns out later on so yeah uh, let's see here we'll go over to this side yeah, this guy's jump height is not that high. It's it's okay. It's decent. It's okay for a human being. There's a boss, and we'll just unload this minigun. Wow, the damage! Wow, the entire clip just wasted him. But of course, that was uh, the second boss, who does not have a lot of health. But that was impressive, nonetheless. That was impressive. Let's try out the minigun again on this big guy. All right, destroy your enemy. Alright, so I got Al Simmons on my team also. It, wow, look at the health just drain! Both of us just annihilated him with their miniguns. Wow, that was nuts. So that was about almost 7 seconds. Wow. Um, but of course, that was without the smaller enemies not attacking us. Uh, but I'm sure in the later stages when the bosses have more health, these smaller enemies like the wolves here will have more time to disrupt our attacks in between. So I don't think every boss battle is going to be that uh, quick but uh, let's see how the minigun rips them up too. And assuming that my teammate which is controlled by the uh, computer uses his uh, minigun as well. Wow look at the damage! Wow! Oh my god while wow, he got melted! His health bar just like melted completely. Just about. That was impressive. Okay. If every boss battle goes like that, this uh, shouldn't be too hard. Imagine if I put Admonisher as my teammate as well, like two of them, because he does have more weapons than Al Simmons. So I'm not sure what the benefit of using Al Simmons over Admonisher would be. Unless, of course, maybe you don't have monitor but I mean if you're using him in the first place then you'd have him unlocked already for your teammate but yeah I could test it out having two admonishers I'm not sure if Al Simmons has the same amount of ammunition or clip size with his minigun as admonisher does um, I'm not sure what the difference is there but wow look at this look at the damage wow that is one clip he's almost done look at his health Wow that is very impressive. That minigun is really good. Wow. It is really good. Alright. So let's see here. That was uh, around, what, 43 seconds in total time? Yeah. We spent a lot of time waiting. Yeah, these bosses that spawn right away is the ones that I want to test out this minigun with right away. So I'll deal with him. And we'll just... Uh, Oh, he's a bit too close. Well, I got destroyed. One hit kill uppercut. <laughs> wow. So I just got to lock on to the proper enemy. Uh, get these guys out of the way. The smaller ones. There's one to my left over here. Yeah, now it's not so easy because you have the smaller enemies shooting from a distance or coming up close. So yeah, it's not as quick as before. But still, look at that. Wow. His, wow. Wow. Wow! Yo, the minigun is just really good! Now, characters like Black Brimstone and Gatekeeper, which are the bosses, they are really fun to use because their special attacks are really amazing, but they're more for like burst damage, like 
one initial shot will do a big chunk of damage but if you want to drain the boss's health bars really quick consistently without knocking them down then a team of two admonishers or one admonisher and one al simmons both using the minigun at the same time is going to melt these bosses wow okay there we go just look 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 at the damage wow i feel like the minigun does cause some kind of stun effect to prevent the bosses from fighting back easily because it seems like they're in some kind of stun lock whenever both of us shoot them with the minigun at the same time they can't really move or fight back but this is really good okay so i need the boss to spawn so we can test out this uh tag team minigun action once again which so far is going pretty well i'm surprised okay so the one thing we gotta watch out for black brimstone is he normally does his fireball from a certain range like when you get to a certain range from his body that's when he almost always goes into the animation of starting his fireball attack pretty much he doesn't do it from very long range it's only specific range as you see right here he's running around then he'll stop and charge up the fireballs and just shoot them at you but Look at his health bar just melt. Oh my goodness. Wow, this is really good. Admonisher. Wow. But two miniguns is definitely the way to go for these boss runs. And that's really different from using a team of Black Brimstone and the Gatekeeper, where it's mostly black brimstone doing the big amounts of damage if he lands all his fireballs on a target at the same time i mean i had a lot of fun using black brimstone and gatekeeper because of the boss characters but if you want to melt the bosses really effectively like use this team two admonishers or one admonisher with al simmons and both of you just go to town on the bosses with the minigun right away yeah Heck, even double machine guns are pretty decent. It's not too bad. I mean, the clip size is not as big as the minigun, but it's still effective. I mean, yeah, look at that. It's still good. It is still damn good. I was also testing it out with Cygor, the uh, cyborg gorilla character, and his three fireballs up at close range do massive amounts of damage if all three fireballs hit that single target at the same time the damage is huge but the problem with that strategy is for one you got to stay close and you're going to get hit of course and after that initial attack when the opponent gets knocked down as they get up they will always have around two seconds of invincibility frames to do whatever they want until of course it wears off and the same thing happens to you so if you want, you can go for big damage with fireball attacks or even juggling combos. But then, of course, you got to deal with the issue of their invincibility frames as they get up. And that is going to slow the whole process down. So the key here is, of course, not to shoot yourself with a rocket in point blank range with a pillar in front of you, but to really keep the opponent standing, keep it at a distance and just use bullet based weapons. Yeah, double machine gun is good when you run out of ammo of the minigun. But of course, when you respawn after dying, you're going to have the minigun. And it is good. Yeah, it is really good. Now it got like destroyed right there. But that's fine. I mean, even if you run out of ammo of the machine gun or minigun or the rocket launcher in one life bar, as soon as you die, you get all the ammo back anyway. So it's not a big deal. All right. So that boss is down. I'm really looking forward to trying this on the Gatekeeper, Angel Teneras, and also Dark Age of Spawn. So this dude, the Gatekeeper, yeah, he is fast. His rocket launcher is really good. It's fast, also has a big blast radius. His dash move is totally really good. Yeah, it's like one of the best dashing moves in the game uh, next to Cygors, which I think is also pretty fast. It has a huge hitbox, but uh, let's wait for the boss. There he is, and this damn skeleton, get out of my way. All right, I got some space. Oh, I got more skeletons. Yeah, they are gonna mess me up. Uh, let's see here, where is the boss? There he is, 
And we'll just unload my clip. Wow, it's really good damage. It is really good damage. Wow. Let's try again. Let's get some range. You know, if I can stop these skeletons. You go first, Al Simmons. I'll stay back. Whoa, the rocket launcher. We got some skeletons first. And let me see. Get out of the way. Out of the way. Wow, I got blasted. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. It's only been about a minute and his health bar is pretty much almost done. Yeah, this is the way to go. The minigun, dude. Alright. Where are you? And he's done. He got destroyed pretty much. Not much of a problem anymore with Admonisher. Now, Angel Teneris, I think, is a bigger threat than Gatekeeper. Her damn... Her, her bleed attacks that she throws are extremely OP. They do so much damage. They knock you far away. And also, they track you in mid-air if you jump. It is ridiculous. So, I'm going to wait for her to spawn up here at the hill. And then I'm going to unload a minigun in her back or her face. Whichever way she spawns. But uh, I'll try to keep these little enemies off me. There's the boss. And that didn't turn out too well, but that's okay. That's okay. And then I got destroyed. Yeah, because my attack button for shooting is also the same button to kick away boxes so that wasn't too good let's see here and yeah there we go that is the attack i don't like her throwing blades i just want to get the proper angle here and there you are and there we go look at the damage oh my god yo she is done she is done wow that was really good two miniguns yeah, that was awesome. That is the one boss that annoys me more than Gatekeeper. Now we have Dark Ages spawn. And of course, this stage is very small, so he's not going to run away that much. So let's see. I will use Al Simmons as a distraction as I unload my minigun on Dark Ages spawn. Wow, half his health is already drained. Look at this. Wow. Look at that, just run away, reload, and keep shooting. Repeat. There we go, keep shooting, reload, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, and he's done, wow. That wasn't difficult at all. And of course, uh, Malbolgia has like no health pretty much. I mean, you can kill this boss in one bullet, yeah, or even throw one knife and that's it, that's all it takes. So this boss is not gonna be a problem at all pretty much. But uh, looking back at all the other bosses, yeah, I don't think anyone really gave me much of a problem. Yeah, two miniguns is definitely the way to go for boss runs. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. That is a uh, boss run with uh, Admonisher and Al Simmons in Spawn in the Demon's Hand. Thank you so much for watching. This is Carlos or Acid Glow, and I'll see you next time.